Somehow we are not the only party. Oh. <laughs> well, I read online a comment from the editor or writer of the Arkansas Times about Larry. Does anyone know anything more about that to tell us about? I, I wasn't uh, very much aware of Larry's uh, writing with the, the correspondence with the Arkansas Times writers. Well, who, uh, you mean John Brunner? Pardon? John Brunner? Max Brantley? Max Brantley is the first time I'm thinking about. Yeah. So I think I've allowed uh, to mention Max Brantley. I wanted to get a letter. Well, he did. It's Max. Yeah. I think Larry, Larry, Larry and Max have become good um, friends and correspondents. And they, and they met a couple of times uh, mm -hmm. at different rallies. And, uh, Max, uh, Max would sometimes yeah. um, Max would sometimes call no. Larry and uh, discuss a topic. Early, everybody. Addressed it because Larry was Mario is our race. Okay. One of his resources. Thank you. I'm not sure what you're saying. Thanks, Brantley. Larry put all of our resources. No, I'm trying to. I didn't understand what this was. Oh, that's all. Mario, can I get a little bit? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, it's a basic premise. 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 Well, it's a basic Because I'm guilty of that. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> and how we need to make a better world and take care of each other so that we can all live better. You know, so you know about having a a, a supreme alien or, or whatever. I'm not so sure about it. But there's been people through time that have have tried to make change that I that I believe, and they predicted these things through their stuff. And that's what he got interested in was studying it. And he was in history classes and he was in drama and started correlating these things and started playing with it. And then in uh, like 81, he is um, without a job, had a wife, two kids, and <clears throat> saw one of these things on TV where they were doing psychic readings and all this different stuff. And he thought, huh. There's money to be made in that, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. And he actually was one of the, the psychic advisors for one of these 1 800 numbers where you call and talk to someone. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. And he, he would tie flies uh, for fly fishing <laughs> while he was talking on the phone to these people. It's like those sexy boys. And that's the like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so, you know, he was, he was, you know, he, he, he knew, he had his ephemeris out, he knew where the planets were, he, he had a basic idea of where the planets were at any time in history on this, because he'd studied it so much, and uh, he supported him himself and his wife and, and her kids doing that for a while until he found another job, you know. I agree that on because I've been curious about the jobs. Yeah, well, I yeah. Well, when, when he got out of high school, he started out working at a, a, a gentleman's store in Hot Springs um, that was well known for his tailored suits. And from there, he went to work for um, a big car dealership in town, and he sold cars. Um, Larry sold cars. Larry sold cars. Mm -hmm. he, was, he, was, he was a car salesman. And then uh, he went to college, and he got drafted for Vietnam. And they said that he was unfit for service because he had flat feet. Um, then they sent him home. He, he was three months into his second semester at Arkansas Tech, and he couldn't get his money back. And he didn't have. To. He lost his scholarships and everything. And uh, he was a little bit of a wild child of that era. And he got in trouble for having possession of a herbal substance. <laughs> and he got sent home and put under house arrest for a year. So he had to move back home with his mom. And he worked as the night auditor at the Ar Arlington. Mm. And he went to all the black clubs and the jazz clubs, and, mm -hmm. and that's where he developed his, his love of, of jazz and the blues. Mm -hmm. Because he'd go, the folks he worked with were all the black stuff. Mm -hmm. And it didn't matter to him that they were black, and it didn't matter to him, them that he was white, you know? And that was before that was acceptable in Hot Springs. Mm -hmm. He went to the wrong side of town. <laughs> so he became the black sheep of his family for two reasons. One, he'd gotten in trouble with herbs, the other he was hanging out with black people. Mm -hmm. Back or <laughs> and then he moved to Fayetteville to study accounting and uh, took a drama class as a what is it one of his electives and then switched to his major to drama. And then he got drafted again. Mm -hmm. well, how, how did that happen? Uh, they were needing fresh meat to send overseas. Mm -hmm. Vietnam was still going on. This feet is human. Yeah. 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 They did. They called him and they tried to. Did they had him withdraw from the university again? Mm -hmm. Four times that happened. So he gave up on college. Four times. Um, he met his first wife at the university. Um, she was from El Salvador, and she had a three-year-old son. And when she would adopt his son. Mother and father both El Salvadorian, child born in El Salvador. You, he fell in love with her. He 
married her, and she automatically, you need to adopt my son. We'll be a wonderful family. Adopt, adopt him, please. We'll be a wonderful family. And he said, yeah, the father's living in Tulsa. You're both from El Salvador. Your son needs to have his father. Not a strange man come into his life and try to become his father. He needs to know his father. Larry's father was murdered when Larry was 12. Oh, so he had this strong understanding of uh, you know, father-son bond and, and, and not having that disrupted. Um, especially when it didn't need to be. You know, he was a good man, good provider. You know, he, he paid child support, so, you know. So she divorced him, and then he was working um, cleaning. He cleaned for Tyson's and all the donut shops, all over the place, and he met uh, an accountant, a uh, bookkeeper, actually, who worked for, uh, I think it's right it worked for, uh, the guy that makes the, was in Harrison, makes the uh, gas grills. There's a soul all over the United States. That's Pace Industries. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. She and worked. There's a there's a family of it that he was a co-owner. Yeah. <coughs>
he brought a picnic lunch, a bottle of wine. Uh, he brought an extra chair in case I got uncomfortable in my wheelchair. He took me in my wheelchair drop fishing below the dam. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or there was a handicapped access. Whoa. Okay. Um, I tell people he we caught trout and he caught me. <laughs> you know. Um, I what saw, a proposal. Yeah, I saw I saw a t-shirt on the last quote this week that said I fish on the first date and I started crying because I didn't have my size. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go online and find it because that that just is it's perfect. Yeah. It encapsulates our entire everything. Uh, but yeah, he, he sold vacuum cleaners for Fairfax vacuums. Uh, if anybody's ever looking for a good vacuum, don't go out and buy one new. Look at the yard sales, look at the retail shops. They'll sell you one for three thousand dollars new. You can use it to pick yourself up off the floor, stick it on the wall, turn it on, it has enough suction that you can hold yourself up. I can hold myself up and I'm two hundred and forty pounds. You know? Fair fat, yeah. Well, I know yeah, the, it's all door to door. Another job he had, uh, managing some rentals. Yeah, all the uh, neighbor. Yeah, I'm driving. Yeah. 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 Former student, yeah. Rose Bunch. Oh, well, well, actually, Rose Bunch fired uh, Oh. Uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 and when Clyde passed away, his children decided to divest of all of his investments. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rose bought them and Her told parents them. Probably. No. Ooh. Rose did. She was, she was a young girl. Oh, no. No, she, she bought them. She bought, Rose bought them in 2001. I just saw her recently. She looked like a young girl. Maybe more than she bought them. Well, you know, the police officers look no, young. She's no longer young now. Yeah. The, the police officers look young to me, so, you know, they all look like they should be in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's, she's still beautiful, and she, you know, she travels all over the world. She, she's still doing what she's doing now. Well, until... She takes care of these apartments, that's true. Two girls, and now she had a boy. So 
You were testing him. Well. <laughs> well, he tested well. Yeah. Well, well, it, it, it took a while to explain him. I think he did not want to believe or accept that I had done that. I had, I had given up my life, handed my keys to my apartment to my brother, and Thank you all for coming, and I'm sure the restaurant won't mind for anyone to stay here as long as they go to the show. I'll be here for a while. Here comes Linda. Linda, did you pay out there at the... I, I didn't. He's going to bring us, he's going to bring our checks. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. That's probably a little more. Is that okay? It's more easy. It's more easy. That's no, no, you're leaving waste. You're leaving a double shift. Yeah. Well, I have a short end, but it is possible. Well, that's generous and nice because they don't give us money. They don't. I have a couple of self-rest hours. I am a Marshall Lee singer. I must attend on. It's so good to see you all. Is Carmen over here? Huh? Is the gap meeting? It's a gap meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that is a wonderful, wonderful person. Oh, Grace. Grace. Yes. Grace. Yes. Grace. Yes. Grace. 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 Yes. Don't forget. I will not forget. And now I'm back in town. I've got your phone number. Yes. I will. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Yo, is that what you want? Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Oh, this is yeah. Oh, right. oh, yeah, I got renewed rides. Yeah. No, I, I, I had, you know, rides from people in the country and I took a cab and they were doing it. It's really nice. Well, I, I, I get to have a phone call. I don't want to hold it. Tony C's? Mm -hmm. Also, we're going to have it. The new system. I'm not the original. 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 I'm not the because I was just here. He insists that he could not be wait. These failed marriages with the loss of my associate and partner for so many years. You know? Um, so, yeah. I've helped a lot of people. I had a friend who was divorced. As a county sister, but anyway, she I've was picked up three by, by some kind of government service. Yes, both are lost, both are changed. I don't know what that is. For good or evil, mm -hmm. take a you know, grocery shop. They're, they're, they're still around. Yeah. Yeah. If it's in the morose yeah. or keep asking, left a potato with a gas pipe or for a gallon of Thanks for coming, Thanks for coming, old Aubrey.
God, you're always Thank you. faithful to all of us. Okay, so take what, our pictures. I hope I get a, some pictures of this that I can I'll put in my album. I just haven't been very effective in getting uh, hard copies for an old-fashioned album. I, See, I, I, can't, I can't get away from that old-fashioned album, and I don't really know how to go from digital to whatever I want to call the old-fashioned way. So I, my you album is not growing. On my birthday, this Lauren had covered a wall with pictures I made. Yeah. Those are the only ones she's printed for me for years. Uh -huh. I don't have prints, I just tell them. I know it. I know it. But you're going to put those, what do you call it, thumbnail, and we'll get them into our... Uh, into the Mullins uh, archive. Okay. Now, do, now do that though before you die. Yeah. And then uh, we suddenly say, where's Aubrey's archive? Here's this box of these little cards that you have to take with you. Okay, I'll say that. I'll, I'll say, he's got them in a box. In a box. <laughs> well, thank you for having us. Oh, very yeah. good. Yeah. This was a really important event for several years, that rapid response. And, well, and Larry did it as well as it could be done. I oh, yeah. really admired him for, for his efficiency, was the, was the point I was making in my remarks. I mean, the guy just really did it right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know something I didn't say. He did it right off the end. He was emailing. Yeah, you know. I didn't want to uh, start talking about his ill health because I thought that Sherry has enough trouble holding back her tears, but uh, he was sick way back. Yeah. He may say as long as I know. I can remember with John Rules living with me. The two of us went down to the general hospital. He had the pneumonia and he was about to die. That was 10 years ago, man. Probably so. And he did finally. That's probably why he died. He only had one lung. He told me that. Let me go down to the first one. Tell Lauren hello. Yeah. Can't see her. You and you mentioned the church. Oh, yes. oh, the young uh, church. And not Kirk the church. It was the other yeah, the yeah, radio yeah, yeah. The man who was in the radio. I think that I liked it. Yeah. Uh, and it's well worth watching. Yeah. 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 Yeah.